This video is jam-packed with Valentine's Day ideas. I've got a tablescape for a romantic Valentine's Day dinner or party and a couple of cute and easy ideas to decorate Valentine's Day cupcakes. Let's start with how to decorate the table for Valentine's Day by showing you what I found at Target and then we'll get into the decorating and the cupcake baking. The Target Dollar Spot has really stepped up their game. There were so many decor items for $5 or less, like tiered trays, coffee station supplies, baskets and florals. I did find some pink jars and vases that I thought would work well to add a touch of color to our Valentine's Day tablescape. Now if you're wanting to go for a certain color scheme for dining table decor, these plastic dishes are such a great buy at Target. I got these for 75 cents each and I'm going to use these with the white dishes that I already have to give an elegant, romantic, and Valentine's Day look. Here is a closer look at the pink glass jars from the Target Dollar Spot. I like how one is more of a peach and the other is pink. I also picked up my florals from Target. I got these small pink roses and some large white roses. I think these will work nicely in those glass mason jars. I also picked up these light pink bud vases in the Target dollar spot. They have a very small hole at the top, so I have an idea for what would work well in these. And you'll see how these are styled on the table after we finish our centerpiece. Today I'm joining Inspired Living with Christy for a collab. Christy is someone who started YouTube around the same time as I did. And she's one of those people I feel like I've met in person even though we've only communicated online. We both used to live in Houston and both moved around the same time, Christy to California and me to Colorado. And let me tell you, Christy has such an eye for style and design. She decorates her home beautifully. So I know her Valentine's Day tablescape will be amazing. Make sure to check her video out after you finish watching mine and let her know that Artsy Cupcake sent you over. I'll put Christy's link in the description box below. You'll need a small bowl and a large trifle bowl. I got the small bowl at Dollar Tree and the large trifle glass bowl at Target. We'll be putting flowers in the small bowl, so you'll also need some floral foam for that. And if you're stopping by from Christy's channel, I want to give you a big warm Artsy Cupcake welcome. My name is Maria and I'm a full-time graphic designer, but I love hopping onto YouTube and sharing crafts and home decor so you can be inspired to get creative in your own home. Make sure to subscribe because I share new ideas every week. I used some small white roses around the bottom to fill in any empty spots. You'll need about four to five bags of conversation hearts to fill the empty area between the bowls. I was thinking about using a white bowl in this, but it ended up covering too much of that candy. So I went with a simple, smaller ribbon along the top, and I'm really happy with how it ended up looking. There were these sprigs of greenery with the white roses, and I just put them in here, and I think it's really simple yet beautiful. This won't go on our tablescape, but I will display it somewhere in my kitchen. Target also had this cute set of hearts and X's and O's. This set was $12. 
we'll be using my dinette area for a two-person table setting. To brighten things up, I'll add a white tablecloth. And as I laid this down, I realized it was very wrinkled, so we're going to take care of that. That is much better. I used a gold tray in the middle of the table and then placed the other vases around the centerpiece. Then I used a few of those extra feathers and the vase filler we picked up to add depth and fill in any of those empty spots on the tray. Now let's see what we can do to make plain old paper napkins look fancy. I didn't want to spend money on pink fabric napkins that I knew I wouldn't use more than once a year, so these will be perfect. I started by opening the napkin all the way and doing an accordion fold. I had created this napkin ring from a paper towel roll and raffia in a previous video. I'm just going to fold the accordion in half and stuff it right into the napkin ring. It will kind of fan open and create a beautiful look to the table. I consider cupcakes to be part of the perfect tablescape. You can probably tell by my channel name that cupcakes are one of my favorite things. So let's try a couple different Valentiny ideas. We'll use a white cake mix and I like to use almond oil instead of vegetable oil. It gives the cake like an almond wedding cake type flavor. We're going to make little hearts on the inside of these cupcakes, so you'll want to find the smallest, most symmetrical strawberries from the bunch. I'll be using my handy strawberry holder. I love this thing, and this will prep the strawberries for our cupcakes. I want to do a test here, so I think I'll bake some of these without the strawberries and bake the other half with the strawberries. We'll see the difference when they come out of the oven. Okay, I wanted to do a quick little taste test to tell you the difference. The one that was not cooked, this one with the better looking heart. I'm gonna take a little bite of that. Mmm, that's really good. It tastes like strawberry shortcake. <laughs> um, it has a little crunch of the strawberry and it tastes like fresh. And then with the cake, it's nice and sweet, but not overly sweet. Okay, so let's try the one that we cooked the strawberry right in there. I wasn't crazy about how the pink from the strawberry kind of bled into the cake. It's not as crisp of a line. It's kind of mushy. <laughs> um, it tastes good, but the strawberry is kind of mushy and gooey, which I don't think is the best texture. So I would definitely recommend baking the cupcakes first without any strawberries in them. And then when you're done, just use your paring knife, right? Like this one and cut out a little circle in the top, pop the strawberry in there and then put a little bit of the circle that you cut out of the cupcake right on top. And that way you'll have a nice clean looking cupcake. Here are a couple easy decorating ideas. You'll need a small heart shaped cookie cutter for the first one. I use silicone baking cups and they make the cupcakes pop out so easily. Now slice off the muffin top and use a small heart shaped cookie cutter on the top part. I'm keeping this easy today and just using this pre-made frosting. 
spread this on the bottom part of the cupcake and then use sprinkles on top of the frosting. You could leave it like that or use more frosting to decorate the cupcake top with the heart cut out. To add the fresh strawberry to the cupcake, use a paring knife and cut out the center. Then place the strawberry and put the top part over the strawberry. You can decorate with icing and no one will suspect a strawberry is inside until you cut it open. I love how the strawberry looks like a heart, but I actually did do a heart baked right into a cupcake in a video that I did a few years ago. It came out really good and was cute, so if you're looking for another option to the strawberries, I'll link that video for you. If you're messy with frosting, a good way to hide any mistakes is by squishing the icing right into some sprinkles. I also like these beads for the tops of my cupcakes because they look really dressy. I think it's fun to have a variety of cupcake designs on display. That way everyone can pick their favorite. Okay, let's see how this Valentine's Day tablescape came out. If you got a few ideas from this video, I would so appreciate if you clicked that subscribe button. It really helps my channel grow. And don't forget to check out Christy's video to see another take on a Valentine's Day tablescape. Thank you so much for watching my video, and I hope you have a very creative day. Bye!